Eric, Kyla, the whole family, the whole fam family. This girl here has got a big mass on her left side. We reckon that maybe in transport she suffered some trauma. That could be a hernia. So Sophia has got the um, the stethoscope, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow some gas into room. And you're in this camera, Nick. Yeah. Make the super camera. So same with deflating him. You get your speculum. It's called a frick speculum. Frick! It's a speculum. Um, you want to take your tube threads, plant close to the end there, and then hang onto the tube with your right hand. That way, you put it in their mouth and then feed it in. I'm right-handed, so I just grab the, the jaw and stick my hand there where I'm not going to get chewed on. Feed the feed this frick speculum over the ball of the tongue, which is called the boss lingus. I've got that. Then I'll hang on to the end of it, and then. Uh, I can, with my tube here, I can just blow and push it down. That's into a rumen. Sorry, Norman. Did that make any bubbles? Yeah, Did you hear bubbles? Yeah. yeah, so her rumen's hanging out. She's torn her abdomen. Probably trauma on the truck, just accidentally. And her rumen is, she's got a hernia and her rumen's hanging out into her abdomen under, under the skin. So, yeah, sorry, Dylan. Um, what can we do? Whether we could, we could try surgically, I could clip that up, or make a big incision, push it back through, and stitch the body wall shut. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Point is, we're going to drop this between your legs so that you carefully reach through. Can you reach that, Rich? Okay. Yep. Cool. And then I reckon. You want to put that here? All right, then just um, tie it off there. So it's like, I'll, put, I'll push you over. There you go. You want to tie it off there? Yeah. Okay, come up. It's actually behind the rumen. So, so you think the rumen itself is intact? The rumen's intact. The rumen's yeah, it's just hanging out there, ripping the through, in the body wall. The body wall. Yeah. So, hopefully, what we can do is get in there and. I mean, if we, if we get in there, it's DEFCON one. Or, you know, worst case scenario, we we'll just have to euthanize it. But yeah, it's going to go. Don't know until we try, eh? So you can hear it 
here. Whoa, 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 whoa. When you put it on there, that's cool. Right on this bit? Syringe vase promising, I'll give her two. I'll just go grab that. It's like uh, the body trying to heal itself. That's just a big, massive hematoma, which would have turned into a massive abscess eventually. So what was I hearing? Um, the sounds of the rumen, which are on the other side, referred through the body wall. Oh my god. Yeah, so this would have turned into a big abscess. trying to um, test it. So Nick, who's driving the camera, is an experienced operator, um, rang me, we're about, how many k's from home am I? Yeah, you do. 600. 650. Only a short distance in the Dodge. <laughs> So, 
what I'm gonna do, now that she's deflated, is I'm gonna clip a little spot down here, and I'm gonna do a stab incision through to give it some drainage, and then we'll stitch back up this, this wound. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go in down to the, from the bottom of it. I can feel where the bottom is here. So we got a nice ventral drainage there. Just make it make the hole big enough to where it's not gonna clog up. That's good. All oh, right, what a great! She must have taken a hell of a lump, a bump, or or had a, a fairly big bleeder um, rupture. Potentially, or she might have got, gotten wedged somewhere, you know, um, you know, like tried to get through a narrow opening somewhere that we didn't notice, and we got herself jammed in there. Something happened. Let's stitch that up. I don't like the drugs, but the drugs like me. It's not full thickness above that. Skin's like leather. <laughs> I must say that joke 20 times a year <laughs> or more. <laughs> oh, but damn, man, that was something else. Mm. And again, you're in a hurry and you stab it through your finger. <laughs> so the trick from your vet students is um, you want a popping motion. So you line up where you want it and then pop through. Line up on the opposite side. 
and pop through. If you don't, you just push, push, push. It doesn't go very well. You got to really pop it. <coughs> and I got that blood because it's in there on its own. It's all anaerobic, I meaning no oxygen. Well, it probably turned into a fucking huge abscess. Mm. What are they? Bananas. <laughs> Then to finish it up, you turn around and go the other way. Come back the other way. If I was doing a cesarean, I'd normally put a couple cruciates at the end. And then that way, if, if, they, if the incision gets infected, you can pull them out. But we've got that drainage down below. You don't really need a drain or anything. She'll be right. otherwise I get caught on stuff. So when we want to pull this out, say in oh, about two weeks time, snip there, and snip there, you can snip in a few other spots, brother. And then yep. just pull these out, and that'll heal up. You need, need to put some flies around it, because, I don't know, there's not many flies around, but look at these. Some locks cam as well. And then um, yeah, just gotta keep her in the hospital bed for a couple days so she's not gonna push around by her mates. And uh, yeah, I reckon she'll be right as rain. Yahoo! This one's gonna venom. 